Today I'll be talking about orchestra music. I'll be handling it about what is orchestra music, types of orchestra music, how to make orchestra music, and what does orchestra music do. Let's dive into it. Now let's be honest here, you can't really define music, because it differs from person to person. One person may find that this has a strong theme. I never thought that I would find a way and the other person may think that this has a stronger theme. Other people may think that this even has a stronger theme. But with orchestra, it's usually easy to define. Because orchestra is a very acoustic kind of music, and so orchestra mainly focuses on the theme and story. It only uses acoustic instruments and elements. 90% of the time it doesn't use electronic features, even when composing on a PC. There are actually a lot of composers that make music using a PC. But in my opinion, what makes orchestra music so special is the theme, a subject. Just the general idea, but more importantly, for me, it truly is the story. Now we're going to talk about the types of orchestra music. Here are some examples. You have Overture. Symphonic Poem. Symphony Concerto Ballet Opera and chamber music. And truth be told, there's not really a way to define these subgenres. 
All right, I'm gonna show you right now how to actually make orchestral music. So instead of just explaining it with pictures and stuff, I'm actually just gonna show this project that I've been working on a little bit. I called it Heroic Orchestra. It doesn't really have a name yet. That's kind of a code name, I suppose. All right, so I started out with this sample. Uh, samples, by the way, a small snippet of audio. I have this one funny friend that always says random shit. So he recorded this and he sent it to me. I'm gonna say the N word. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say the N word. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say the M word. He's a bit of a wild kid. But then using a lot of different effects over here, I managed to change it to this. To be told, it kind of sounds like a werewolf demon. I used this shallow here. I really like this cello, it sounds really pretty. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm able to use all these instruments, it's by the software called Contact. So what this software allows you is to use real life audio samples and turn it into a sampler so I can basically play it. And I've also used this here. This really beautiful piano. And so what I did is I tried a lot of different effects and I put them all into audio. Now I know I said that in uh, orchestra music people tend not to use electric elements. However, I on the other hand do tend to do this a lot of times because it gives that really cool edge that I'm looking for. And I also use this high piano. Oh, by the way, all of these melodies are recorded by myself. I played them on a piano and recorded them. Yeah, really beautiful chord. And then at the second phase of the start, I used a different cello to layer that. This kind of gives that uh, dynamic, I guess. And then there's a moment of silence. And then... So yeah, that sounds really heroic in my opinion, I don't know. So, so I use the string for the bass chords and the bass chords sound like this. I think it's really pretty though, it's a cool kind of rhythmic element. Then I have another layer, which is a string that I put into audio. It's always cool, in orchestra they always use little elements. Alright, so I, what I tend to do a lot in my music is use an element, pan it to the left here, then use the same element, but like an octave higher. So basically it sounds higher, but then put it to my right ear. So what happens if you listen to both of them? It's a cool contrast, I guess, in both ears. Then I have this piano, it also plays the bass chords. Then I use some arpeggios, which are really pretty and really give that magical sort of vibe. And I also use this voice. And then... So there's this game called Dark Souls I really f***ing love. So basically in the soundtrack they always use bells. Here's some examples. So yeah, when I make orchestra I also tend to use the bell. I use this choir, it's using the bass chords but then really slow. I'm also using this really low brass, which really sounds muddy and kind of dirty in a way, like a monster or something. And yeah, that was uh, the end of my presentation. Uh, hopefully you've learned something. 
and uh, yeah see you